Favorite hat of makeup, really. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Nomf Undo Undo, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and welcome back to another video today we are doing this natural looking face or this soft glam look and if you'd love to see how i achieve this beautiful face which can be your everyday face um i believe you can do this every day and it looks so good for especially for winter it is currently winter in south africa and i think this would be a perfect makeup look for everyone who is trying to have their face beaten but not doing too much and if you'd love to see that please watch until the end of the video for our face i've already applied a sunscreen on my face so we are going to begin with our brows and then the rest of the face i know my lashes are not looking good they're kind of falling off they've been on for two weeks now this is our third week and i'm expecting them to fall already so yeah so um honestly don't do much on my brows because as of lately i prefer my brows to look more natural so i just brush my brows i think the biggest trick when doing your brows is just making sure that your brows are trimmed properly and they are clean as long as your brows are clean you're going to have a perfect brow so yeah so i just use a brown pencil or a brown liner for my brows so i'm gonna start drawing my brows following my natural brow line i just draw um, the underneath line first and then i go on the top of the brow i feel like this step is really easy because as long as you have your brows clean guys if i'm being honest the same on the other side another thing that you need to make sure is that you are more light-handed when drawing your brows make sure that you don't want in the deep in like just try your best to be gentle with your brow pen and i'm now going to shade the rest of the brow i don't really like shedding on the um this part of my brow because i still want my brows to look more natural um as possible i want my brow to look as natural as possible So as you can see when i'm shading i'm starting right at the end of the brow trying my best not to temper a lot with this part which is the beginning of my brow because i'm trying to make sure that it looks as natural as possible i know this doesn't look as natural as i normally do my brows but it's fine we can always um fix whatever mistake you feel that you've done with your brows or with your makeup so i'm now going to shade more on this part and try to make sure that the brow hairs stay in place and it's not all over the place so as you can see i'm just using a scoopy brush to brush my natural hair or my natural brows and you can see how it looks more lighter on the side as compared to um at the end of the brow or at the tail of the brow so once i'm done with that part of my brows i'm gonna move to the next step the second step which is gonna be me cleaning my brows 
I have a mirror here on the side so if you see me looking this side mostly it is because I'm looking at the mirror I might not be looking straight at the camera at this point but I hope it doesn't um, disturb you guys from watching and following the steps so I'm going to use a foundation to clean my brows I prefer using a foundation because I find using a concealer um, a bit difficult to blend sometimes but yeah so i'm using my foundation to clean my brows i start at the tail of the brow like so and i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side But I do prefer cleaning the top of my brows as well if I'm looking for that like clean look type of situation. So to apply this baby skin um, um, primer from Maybelline I really really recommend prepping your skin before you actually do your makeup so the foundation that I'm using I'm gonna use the Maybelline this one it's the Maybelline fit me foundation matte plus poreless foundation which um is a which shade is this 332 so yeah so as you can see i'm really not um satisfied with the coverage of the foundation i'm gonna apply another layer so um the trick about foundation is you have to build up layers especially if you're not using like a full coverage um foundation because this is not a, it's not really a full coverage foundation but you can always build up your coverage like apply another layer if you feel like you, you can still see the bottom skin or you can still see your skin under the foundation until you get the results that you're looking for So this is a matte foundation i'm not really a fan of matte foundations i like a bit of like 
oiliness in my makeup and you know that's shimmery finish or oh, that's um soft finish and yeah but i'm still gonna use the foundation but i think i'm gonna have to um add another type of foundation to it so that i don't get that this type of matte that i'm getting right now because i'm really not a fan of matte makeup like matte foundations because um i really don't know why because sana it's really nice to on other people but on myself nope <laughs> And this is my favorite part of makeup. I'm gonna use this camouflage, this Essence Camouflage Plus um, Matte Concealer as well. Um, this is also available from drugstore. I'm just gonna apply a bit of it, not too much, so that I can allow myself to blend it without a problem, really. And I don't wait too much with this concealer because it really dries quick that's what i've discovered um but when i'm using a different concealer i'd normally wait for like a minute or two so that my um what you call my concealer get a bit so that when i start blending it it's not moving around but with this one i'm scared to do that because i have realized that this concealer dries up really quickly so we're just gonna blend this one right away and i always prefer using a beauty blender with the when i'm blending my concealer so we're gonna start on the forehead also be very light with your hand like be gentle on your face girl you ain't fighting okay <laughs> you're not fighting just be gentle just tap in a very gentle way like you know and then we're gonna do here And then we are going to come on the side. I know that with my makeup routine you have to sort of trust the process because sometimes i'll be looking like a ghost child but trust the process so i'm just gonna continue blending this until i am more satisfied so while we are there we are now going to contour my face using a darker um what you call a darker concealer so that you can bring some warmth to your face 
and avoid looking like a ghost like how I'm looking right now in as much as I don't want to look like a ghost but I don't want my face to be you know now too dark where I can't even blend properly the um, what you call the contour concealer which I have applied right now I'm also gonna use a beauty blender to blend that you can see now I'm defining my cheekbones and defining um, kind of bring back I love contouring because kind of bring back the struct the structure into your face so yeah So because I feel like I didn't contour on my forehead, I am going to do a bit and then blend again. Shame Mandla, I've got edges for days, Sana, um, and I'm so happy because my hair is looking very healthy lately. And look at that hairline, Sana. My hairline is looking really good. So guys, we are going to move on to the next step of this foundation routine. We are now going to use the powder. We are moving away from anything creamy and we are moving to the powders. Now I'm going to start using powder on my face. I am going to be using this MAC Studio Fix, which is my favorite for days. <laughs> it is a fave. I am going to apply this on my face because this is more like my shade and i don't remember what shade is this this is nc 43 yes this is nc 43 amazing amazing it's it's just it's just a powder powder because ciao so i'm gonna use this powder puff and apply the powder on underneath i'm going to press it down as I set my under eye oh my gosh I love this powder top two and not number two and I'm gonna use it to reverse contour as well you can't really see much of it but it actually does the impact And I'm gonna use it on my brows as well. I can take away the shiny uh, brow effects. And then once we've done that, we are now going to move to the contouring part, but on the powder side of things. So whatever I did on my face using cream product, I'm gonna do it again using a powder product now. Contour palette, I use this contour palette, which I got from Mr. Price, it's the KM's collection, and I'm gonna use it on my cheeks just to bring that warmth again. This looks a bit ashy, so it's very important when using this um, contour palette that you don't apply too much because it will ruin your makeup so you need to be very gentle with it use a bit of it not too much and i'm gonna use it as well on my nose contour it 
The, so this is how my face looks like right now still looks a bit crazy but we're getting there i can assure you that we're getting there now the next thing i'm gonna use is this um banana powder loose banana powder it's from essence it's more white like it's more mm, how do i explain this like, i can never not use this powder sana I'm just gonna apply it underneath my under my eyes it also gives me that bright under eye effect as you can see I'm reverse contouring my face using this powder See that so now that this has set on my face i'm now going to use a fluffy brush like this i ah, love this brush i got these brushes from take a lot a while ago and they're so amazing so i'm gonna use this brush to dust off the excess powder So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and apply my, what you call? <laughs> I'm I'm I use an eyeshadow palette as blush. So I, I pick any color that I felt like using it on that day between these three, between one, two, three. So if I'm feeling like a peachy, I use this orangish. And if I'm feeling more like a pinkish blush, I use this or this. So I'm going to, in this moment, I'm going to use this peachy pinky blush and apply it on my cheeks. And that's how it looks. I know it looks a bit crazy, but you know how blush works, or how these colors works. Is the more um the the more the product sits on your skin, is the more it's you know looks better. Um, it's one look better just after you applying it right away. But you need to give your makeup time. That's why even when you're going somewhere and you're doing your makeup, it's always recommended that you do your makeup so that it can sit um and maybe give yourself 30 minutes before you leave the house because it looks crispy and more better after 30 minutes you're going to do our last step of this makeup tutorial which is gonna be my lips i really wanted to get it right trying to find some balance in my life i never really put up a fight now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart But I lost it somehow Wish that someone Lipstick And I'm gonna use this lipstick By KM's and Scarlet Heroes as well So now that we're here, we're almost done with our face. I'm gonna jump on to the next step 
of this makeup tutorial which is setting love this step of my foundation i love the i love this step of my makeup because this is when i see the final product and this is when i see if whatever i was doing the whole hour or the whole 30 minutes is actually what i was looking for and i use these two um setting sprays for my face to set my face i'm gonna use the quick face um the quick face infinity hydration hydration mist and the rose care hydrating face mist from nivea so i mix both of these and i get the best best of best um results so let's do it we're gonna start with this one I know that looks like a lot but it's really not and then we move to the second babe and I'm going to also spray this all over my face oh, favorite part of makeup really and there we have it this is the final look of this natural makeup tutorial soft glam makeup tutorial whatever you want to call it this is it and this is the end of the video if you watched until the end please do hit the subscribe button please don't leave without subscribing i'd really really appreciate that and i'll see you guys on my next video